Swissinfo.ch. That's online news and information from Switzerland. Articles, podcasts and videos in 10 languages. Is about acquiring knowledge. To produce in all of these languages, we work closely together. Text and data journalists, a graphic designer, a multimedia editors. Here at the production desk, our specialists work alongside each other on articles in collaboration with all 10 language departments. Journaliste de données, c'est l'analyse de données pour euh, faire des articles, euh, généralement des articles donc, euh, qui ont un angle unique qui se base sur les chiffres. Euh, généralement, il y a des, des graphiques, par exemple des graphiques interactifs, du contenu vraiment euh, euh, optimisé pour le web. Tous les jours, on a pas mal de collaborations avec les autres unités de la SSR pour des gros projets d'analyse, comme par exemple les élections fédérales qu'on a couvert ensemble avec RTS et SRF. On parle de nos idées sur ce qu'on travaille. Et euh, généralement, on peut partager ou traduire les visualisations dans les autres langues. So when I come in in the morning, my job is to find out if there are any appropriate news stories from the night before which we could use in different languages. For instance, I would use material from SRF. Uh, they have three big news programs every night that we can take from. RTS as well has a journal at 19.30. So both of these have subtitles already in their own languages and we can take these and convert them into whatever language we want fairly quickly. Our readers not only have a language in common, they also have a shared interest in specific topics. We have to ensure we have a clear editorial profile. That involves focusing on key themes and making sure we have departments and journalists with specialist areas of knowledge. Kein anderes Land der Welt hat so stark ausgebaute Instrumente der direkten Demokratie. Wir wollen das zeigen, nicht äh, als, ähm, als Lehrer auftreten für die Welt. Äh, seht her, so müsst ihr das machen. Das ist eine Inspiration und ich denke, gerade heute ist das wichtiger als äh, denn je. Wir fokussieren äh, ganz stark auf Lokaldemokratie Und uh, ja, das macht großen Spaß, diese Arbeit zu tun. In recent years, our online communities have become an important part of our work. And not just as readers and consumers. Today, they give us important input for new stories from around the world. Das Herausfordernde beim Community Building für Swissinfo ist, dass es äh, zehn Sprachen, zehn Kulturräume betrifft. Das sind äh, zum Teil ganz andere Social-Media-Plattformen, wo sich die Leute bewegen. Die Community hilft Swiss Info bei der Berichterstattung. Also sie können uns Inputs geben, sie können uns auch sagen, was sie beschäftigt, damit wir auch äh, auf sie eingehen können, also an den Themen sind, die die Leute interessiert. Aber sie können auch untereinander das diskutieren, was wir publizieren. Das, ist ja eigentlich fast das Ziel von Journalismus, dass die Leute eine Debatte führen zu bestimmten Themen. Also eine Community von Swissinfo sind die Auslandschweizerinnen und Auslandschweizer. Extra auch für jüngere Auslandschweizerinnen und Auslandschweizer haben wir einen Instagram-Account kreiert. Und äh, die zeigen da, wo und wie sie auf der ganzen Welt leben. Und aus diesen Bildern picken wir dann interessante Gesichter oder Menschen oder Geschichten raus und äh, machen jeweils kurze Porträts. We use Facebook across all 10 of our Swiss Info languages and each language has a separate page and there are people in every language department who manages their own page and interacts with the fans there. Our Arabic and English page are the largest ones at the moment, and we have over a million fans across all of our pages there. We can also use it as a way to figure out how interested people are in the different topics. Sometimes we ask them questions and they give us lots of useful information, personal stories, or they put us in touch with people that we otherwise wouldn't have been able to find. Here at Swiss Info, we've been trying out a new tool um, the past few months. It's called Harkin. Our first attempt um, with this uh, essentially special software was to um, basically ask people what questions they had in a very general sense. So what did they want to know about something they've observed in Switzerland? Maybe they live here, maybe they've visited. 
um, or about this country's politics or its culture. Cultures are omnipresent at Swissinfo.ch. With 10 languages, that's no surprise. Our diversity is our strength and it enriches our work. Small departments for big languages. Their knowledge is invaluable to Swissinfo.ch. What do Russian readers think about neutrality or banking secrecy? How do people in the Arab world perceive the Swiss Burka debate? What reputation does direct democracy have among our readers in China? These points of view are essential for our coverage. India is the second largest population of English speakers in, in the world, so we are quite interested in increasing our Indian audience. And part of my job is to, is to find stories that cover both Switzerland and India and uh, to write stories about them. I write about various issues that can range from bilateral trade to pharmaceutical industry, as well as lighter issues like uh, you know, Bollywood, uh, Indian weddings. التحدي الأكبر في عملنا يظل شرح الواقع السويسري والتطورات الأحداث في هذا البلد لجمهور عربي عريض لا يكاد يعرف عنه شيئا أما التحدي الثاني فهو تكييف ما ننتجه ليتلائم مع الجمهور الكبير المتواجد على شبكات التواصل الاجتماعي Мы находимся в русскоязычной редакции портала Свисинфа. Здесь мы пишем и переводим тексты, работаем с видео, обсуждаем редакционные планы. Словом, делаем все то, что необходимо для выполнения поставленных перед нами задач. А именно, объяснять происходящее в Швейцарии, служить надежным информационным источником и показывать уникальность швейцарской политики и прямой демократии. Whether at international organizations or the Swiss Financial Center, our correspondents in Zurich and Geneva report from the heart of these hubs. Well, there's three very dynamic, uh, engaged communities uh, at the moment. One of those is uh, FinTech, the uh, new digital revolution of the banking system. Uh, another is cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, which are really making the news at the moment. And a third, there are other blockchain applications which can uh, be used by all sorts of industry, from logistics to pharma and to health. It's a very dynamic and uh, interesting place to be. Ici, à l'intérieur du Palais des Nations, donc on croise les gens qui constituent ce qu'on appelle la Genève internationale, des diplomates des représentants de gouvernement, donc, à des spécialistes d'à peu près tous les domaines possibles qui sont traités au niveau international, de, des problématiques économiques, de santé, de, de politique de développement, d'humanitaire, également l'environnement. The online world is constantly changing, and so are we. That's why we tell our stories in different and new formats. Donc là, je suis en train de faire une vidéo pour euh, Nouveau, euh, qui est une, euh, un projet en association avec la RTS, la SRF, euh, les médias en romanche aussi. On fait des vidéos assez courtes, principalement pour Facebook, Instagram, pour les réseaux sociaux en gros, pour une audience un peu plus, un peu plus jeune. Donc c'est assez dynamique et c'est très court. Hi, I'm Susan Maseka. I'm in Bern. When Facebook first introduced their live video streaming, we had a few journalists who tried it out quite spontaneously. It's a really useful way for us to bring our audience closer to things that are happening in Switzerland that they wouldn't otherwise be able to see. And it's also been a useful tool for us to try and analyse situations. For example, when we had the recent elections of the new member of the federal cabinet, we had rolling coverage across our Swiss languages with an in-house expert where we could see what was happening in Parliament and try and give people some in-depth analysis on the situation. Hello, this is Jo Fay at Swiss Info. Um, we just published a new article today about the long-awaited girls' exhibition. Swissinfo.ch Online journalists from different cultures with specialised knowledge, developing ideas and stories together for the only purely online platform of the Swiss Broadcasting Corporation. We use multimedia storytelling and digital formats so that stories from Switzerland can keep reaching the world now and in the future.